and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today we're going to be going through three more military themed outfits. So instead of saying what I normally say at the start, I would just like to announce that I'm currently in talks with a streetwear clothing brand. Now these guys are interested in doing a limited run collaboration project. You can take a look at one of the designs that I quickly came up with on my Instagram which is official militated, but if you guys are interested in this then please do let me know in the comment section below as this project will only go ahead if you guys are interested in it. But now that we have gotten all of that out of the way, we are ready to get onto the actual video. Okay, so as usual, the first thing that we're going to need to do is head down to a clothing store. We're then going to start browsing the pants section and go into cargo pants. From here we're going to purchase the splinter cargo. Now we've never used these before, but I do think that the colour scheme is quite interesting. We're now going to move over to the top section and go into utility tops. From here we're going to go down to the bottom and purchase the khaki detail battle vest. So once we have done that, we are then going to back out of the top section, but we will go back to it later on. Instead, we're going to go into accessories and go into scarves. From here, we're going to purchase the khaki desert scarf. Once you've done that, we're then going to go into the gloves category and go down to the bottom of the list. From here, you can either select the forest hat gloves, or you can go for the green wool gloves like I did. Either way, once you have backed out, we're then going to head back over to the top section. It is very important that you have the scarf on before you do this. We're going to head into the utility vest category and instead of using a plain black one, we're just going to try to use the navy plate carrier which matches the pants. In fact, we're actually going to try to avoid using black for this outfit aside for the next component which is in the glasses section. So from here we're going to go into sports glasses and go down to the bottom of the list and then we're going to scroll up to the black wraparounds. I hope you guys can see what I'm trying to do here, so instead of using a camo top which just matches the pants, I'm trying to use solid block colours on the torso just to give it a bit of variation but still matching the colour scheme. Right so now that we are at the shoe section we're going to start browsing and go down to the bottom to where it says rubberized boots. From here we're going to purchase the navy trail. Now we can leave the clothing store and head down to the mask store on Vespucci beach to browse the mask section. Now go down to the ski mask category and from here we're going to start scrolling through the list. Now it might take a little while but we're going to keep on going until we get to the splinter tactical ski. Obviously we don't just want to isolate the camo pattern to the lower body which is why we're also doing it on the head. In the hat section we're going to go down to the bottom to where it says combat helmets and we're going to start scrolling through. Now you can use the quad lens if you want but for this outfit we're going to keep on going until we get down to the splinter dual lens. I have no idea why it takes so long to go down this list but you might notice that I have left the night vision down. So it seems that a lot of people don't know how to put the night vision up so I just thought I'd quickly demonstrate that now. All you have to do is hold right on the d-pad and it will put the night vision up. So now that we have done that, we can leave the mask store and head over to the telescopes on Del Piro Pier. We're going to sprint towards the telescope by tapping the run button and you're going to press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near the telescope. If you've never tried this glitch before then it might take quite a few attempts before you get it, but your character should just stand there instead of looking to the telescope and you should also notice that you are no longer wearing the helmet or the mask. Once you do eventually get it, you are then going to open up your interaction menu and go into style and accessories. We're then going to head down to where it says glasses and you're going to scroll along until you get to the black wraparounds which just so happen to be the first option. After equipping the black wraparounds we can then close the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope. You should then notice that the helmet and the mask will then reappear and that we still have the black wraparounds on. In my opinion I think that it just closes up the gaps in the mask quite nicely. So now that we have that on we're going to head over to the nearest ammunition and start browsing the weapon section. I'm sure that most of you know exactly what I'm going to say but we need to purchase a parachute from the top left. We're then going to back out of the weapons section and open up the interaction menu. From here we're going to go into style and parachute and we're going to make sure that parachute is set to on. Now for this outfit we're going to be using the forest combat shoot bag. Of course you don't have to have a parachute if you don't want one, I just think that it adds a bit of substance to the outfit. Either way we're then going to head over to the top section of the store and make sure that we save the outfit for the last time. But yeah after doing all of that you are pretty much finished with the outfit and we are ready to move on to the next one. This one in particular was sent in by Rambo on Acid who seems to be the only one sending in outfits recently. I did alter the outfit a tiny bit but I hope that you don't mind. So just like the first outfit we're going to start off in the clothing store. Strangely enough we're going to start off at the hat section and we're going to go down to the SecuriServe caps category. From here we're going to purchase the SecuriServe backwards cap. I would just like to say now that it is very important that you do it in this order. Going over to the pants section, we're then going to go down to the bottom to where it says utility pants and we're going to purchase the black battle pants. If I remember correctly, the original outfit that was submitted used the black team pants if that is something that you'd prefer. In the top section, we're going to scroll down to a category which we haven't used in a while which is the sweaters category. 
Now obviously because this is a black outfit we're going to be using the black combat sweater. The black battle vest also works very well with this outfit if you'd prefer, but for now we're going to head over to the accessory section. Just like before we're going to go into the scarves category, but this time we're going to purchase the black desert scarf to match the black theme. Like I said at the start of the outfit, it is very important that you follow these steps in the order that I'm doing them in. So you've probably already guessed what we're going to select next, but we're going to go into the glove section and purchase the black tact gloves. With the gloves now purchased, we can then back out of the accessory section and we're going to head over to glasses. As we did previously, we're going to go into the sports glasses category, but from here we're going to purchase the mono outlaws. Although I have chosen to go with glasses for this outfit, it does also look pretty cool without them if that is your preference. But for now we're going to go back over to the top section and we're going to go down to the bottom to where it says utility vests. The selection we're going to make is the ultra light strike vest. As far as GTA clothing goes, this vest is actually quite detailed so it is quite nice to look at on the outfit. The last thing that we need to do in the clothing store is to head over to the other side to the shoe section. Unfortunately you can't run in the clothing store so it is quite a long walk, but once you do get there, we're going to go into the boots category. The battle pants come standard with the black tactical boots, but for this outfit I decided to go for the black flight boots. With that out of the way, we're then going to pay a visit to the ammunition and start browsing the gear section which is in the middle of the store. As we're all about details for this outfit, we're going to be purchasing the grey earpiece. And just like we did before, we're then going to head over to the weapon section and make sure that we've purchased a parachute. Oh, now back out of the weapon oh, section and open up the interaction right. menu and we're going to go back into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. So I'm sure you guys already guessed but we're going to be using the black combat shoot bag for this outfit. Unlike before, we're not going to save the outfit just yet. Instead we're going to head down to the mask store in Vespucci Beach. In the mask section we're then going to go down to where it says tactical and start scrolling through until we get down to the mono splinter spec ops. You can also use the plain black one if you're not a fan of the splintered effect. As we've already purchased the hat at the start of the outfit, we're not going to be purchasing one from here now. Instead we're just going to leave the mask saw and we're going to head over to the telescopes at Del Piru Pier. Sprint towards the telescope by tapping the run button and then press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. Again this might take a few attempts if you're new to this but once you have done it your character should just stand there instead of looking into the telescope and you should also notice that you are no longer wearing the mask. In the interaction menu we're then going to go into style and accessories and go to gear. Now you're going to press left on the d-pad until you get to the grey earpiece. Next we're then going to go down to where it says glasses and you're going to press left until you get to the mono outlaws. Do not attempt to wear the backwards secure yourself cap because it will remove the desert scarf. We're now going to close the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and you should then notice that the mask will then reappear but we still have the mono outlaws and the grey earpiece on. We're now going to address the hat situation but first we're going to head down to a clothing store, go over to the outfit section and just make sure that we save the outfit before we continue. As you can see I decided to call the outfit Blacktical, well because it's black and tactical, uh, but you can call it whatever you want just make sure that you remember the name of it. We're now going to leave the clothing store and you're going to need a car for this next part. The car doesn't have to be yours, it can be a random NPC one, but either way we're then going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and equip the secure serve backwards cap. Like I said before, this will remove the scarf but don't worry about that. Now you're going to go down to where it says outfit and you're going to scroll along to the one that you just saved but do not equip it. Put some distance between you and the car and then go up to where it says parachute. Now you're going to press the enter car button which in my case is triangle and you should then start walking towards the car. As soon as your character sits down and you notice that the hat has disappeared, you are going to equip the outfit. There is very little margin for error so you need to be very good with the timing which means it might take a few attempts. When you do eventually decide to get out of the car, you should then notice that you now have the hat, the mask, the mono outlaws, the grey earpiece and the scarf on all together. In the clothing store, you're then just going to make sure that you save the outfit and then you are pretty much done and we're ready to move on to the last outfit. Now I can't seem to pinpoint exactly what it is about this outfit but I just think that the combination does look really good together. Maybe it's the perfect fit of the beret on top of the gas mask, I really don't know but we're going to now head over to a clothing store. So to finish off the trio we're now going to start off at the top section and we're going to go down to the rolled sleeve t-shirts. You can then select any random one, it really does not matter which one it is. This isn't the top that we're going to be using but it is necessary to make the outfit. Next we're then going to head over to the accessory section of the store and we're going to go into scarves. From here we're going to purchase the black desert scarf. Straight away we're then going to back out of the accessory section and head back over to tops. We're then going to go back down to the sweaters category for the second time today and we're going to start scrolling through. We're going to keep on going down until we get to the beige turtleneck. We also have the black desert scarf on top of it which you normally can't do. That's the reason why we had to do the whole roll sleeve t-shirt thing. Wow that was really weird to say. 
Continuing onwards, we're then going to go down to the utility vest category and we're going to purchase the ash plate carrier. You can use the white one if you want, but I think that just stands out a bit too much. Either way, we're now going to head over to the pants section of the store and go into cargo pants. We're going to be selecting the grey woodland cargoes, which I think works pretty well with the plate carrier. We're now going to go back over to the accessory section to revisit the gloves category. Despite the heavy contrast, we're going to be going for the black tax gloves, which will fit in a bit better later on. For the last time today, we're going to go and take that very long walk over to the other side of the store to get to the shoe section. Kind of wish they were closer to everything else, but what we're going to do now is go back into the boots category like we always seem to do, and we're going to start scrolling up. Or maybe down in your case, I'm not too sure. Whichever way you need to go, we're going to purchase the black tech boots. With the boots now being selected, we're then going to leave the clothing store and head back down to the ammunition and start browsing the gear section which is in the middle of the store. Again, purchase the grey earpiece and then back out of the gear section and we're going to head over to weapons. Now that I think about it, it kind of doesn't make sense why the parachute is in the weapons section, but we're going to purchase one regardless. We're now going to pull up the interaction menu, go back into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. Now for this outfit, we're going to be using the black combat shoe bag, but you can also use the grey combat shoe bag if you want. I mean, it all just sort of depends on your personal preference, but I like the contrast between the black and the grey. But for now, we're going to head back down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. For a change, we're going to go into the hat section first and we're going to go into the beret category. From here, we're going to purchase the grey woodland one. After having purchased that, we're then going to back out of the hat section and head over to masks. Now go down to the gas section and we're going to start scrolling through. Now you can either use the grey wooden respirator, which is the one I'm showing right now, but I'm going to be going for the black one just because I think that it works better. Right, so now that we have selected both the mask and the beret, it's time to then leave the mask store and head back over to the telescopes on Del Piero Pier. Sprint towards the telescope by tapping the run button and then press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. Your character should just stand there instead of looking into the telescope and you should also notice that you are no longer wearing the mask. Again, it might take a few attempts, but we're now going to open up the interaction menu and go to Style and Accessories. First thing we're going to do is head back down to where it says Hats, and you're going to press left on the D-pad until you get to the Grey Woodland Beret. Then we're going to go up to where it says Gear, and you're going to press left to equip the Grey Earpiece. Close the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope, and you should then notice that the mask will then reappear, and you are still wearing the Beret and the Grey Earpiece. I don't know if it's just me, but I hope that you guys can sort of agree with the whole black and grey contrast thing. If not, then, well... That's a shame, but we're now going to head back over to the clothing store and make sure that we save the outfit. After completing that final step, we are then done with all three outfits for this particular video. But like I said at the start of the video, I am currently in talks with a streetwear clothing company who is interested in doing a collaborative project with me. You can check out one of the quick designs that I have come up with on my Instagram, which is official militated, but I will be releasing some more soon, both from me and from them. I'm sure you guys remember, but I did say that this project will only go ahead if there is enough interest from you guys because it will be costing a lot on my side. This project will only go ahead if there is enough people interested in buying them, so if you are interested then please do let me know below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next GTA Online video.